A successful novelist is rescued from a car crash by his number one fan in one of the most recognized Stephen King books of all time. Fox 43's Braden Long takes a center stage to the Fulton Theater in Lancaster for Misery. Paul, it's me. What happens when you become successful? What happens when you're somebody the public needs something from? What do you sacrifice? What do you give up? Whether you're a writer, an actor, or even a meteorologist, you can't always please all of your fans. The Stephen King thriller turned film and play takes an extreme view of a disillusioned, disturbed fan. But for the play's two lead actors and self-proclaimed King junkies, the play adds to the film and book, but holds its own weight. Laser focused on the relationship and this cat and mouse game that these two people play. The real meat is finding out why and her, you know, living the reality of that person. And he really get to do that in this. He also gains a great deal from her because of her love of his work, because of her love of his character. He gets something really valuable from this experience. For our leading lady playing number one fan Annie Wilkes, Learning more about the iconic character has been an experiment in psychology. As twisted as she is and the issues that Annie has, there are moments when I want people to feel sympathy for her. You don't have to like her, you don't have to agree with what she does, but if you have some understanding of where it's coming from and why, then I've done my job. Maybe a job done too well? Nothing bad can happen to you now. Not with Annie here. But boy, there is something, you know, about saying and doing things you never would do in real life. It's something cathartic about it. And while a treat to be in the play, the cast says movie fans will have plenty to enjoy for the stage. If you're a fan of the movie, it gives you the things that you know you're looking for. But if you don't know anything about this story at all, you're going to come and have a thrilling afternoon or evening. I'm your number one fan. Braden Long, Fox 43 News.